Adal and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So welcome to my plans and inspiration so vlog for the wonderful June challenge of hashtag so fruity 2024. Now this is a great challenge that I've took part in in the last couple of years and I think actually I won one year. Hmm. Yeah I think I did. Um, and it's run by a vet who is Blossom Sandwich on Instagram and she also runs Stash Hub. Now, I am very happy to be taking part in the vlogging tour and there is a person every day or a wonderful sewing vlogger every day who's going to be posting their plans and inspiration vlog. Now, yesterday it was Emma from So Do It Emma um, and to check over and, and watch hers. And then tomorrow it's the Curly Sewista who is doing her plans and inspiration vlog. But today it's all about me and my plans, so I can't wait to share them with you. But first of all, I was just going to go quickly over the, the rules of the challenge. So, hashtag so fruity 24 is all around sewing something fruit themed. Now, you don't have to worry about if you don't like conversational prints that have big, you know, fruits on it or whatever. You don't have to do something that's got a literal fruit on it it can be much more abstract than that so i'll talk to you about a few ways where you can incorporate the fruit theme but without you know a blatant pineapple on your fabric <laughs> um you need to post the your finished make on june the 30th and you need to tag in blossom sandwich and also under the hashtag so fruity 24 I'll put some of the information up so you can see the rules and I'll also pop on who's next in the vlogging tour as well. So before I talk about my plans and inspiration, I thought I'd talk to you about what I've made before in the past for this challenge because I did that for my So Frugal and everybody really liked that format. So I thought I'd share with you some of my previous makes that I have made for this challenge and then also, weirdly enough, I have made quite a few fruity outfits without actually realizing it so the first thing is what i'm wearing so this is a double gauze i got i can't remember, i think it might have been from beyond the pink door and i made this top by seamworks and i cannot remember what the top's called but i'll put it in um the notes below but yeah it's really cute this top it's a little bit snug on me now um just across the back but yeah it's got i don't know if you can see it. it's got this really nice kind of fold over lip detail and then a little flounce there and um, it's made in this double gauze fabric which is really really nice and it's got really cute little oranges and flower blossom orange blossoms on it which is really really cute so that was one that i made and i thought i'd wear it today for this video and I don't think I made it for the So Fruity Challenge. I just think I'd, I'd really like this fabric and I wanted to make it. One of my makes that I did make for the So Fruity Challenge is this little adorable dress I made for Alice, which she still wears now because it's actually quite big for her when I made it. And this is a Poppy and Jazz pattern. I cannot remember what it's called. Um, but again, I'll put the notes, I'll put it down below. And yeah, I think I actually won. This is what I, this actually won me a prize in the, in the challenge. And this fabric was gifted to me as a gift from Claire from Stitch and So. She sent it me as a gift. Um, I can't remember what it was for now. Was it for my birthday or something? But yeah, I've still actually got some of this fabric left so I can make her another dress. But yeah, I really, really like this. And I've got a picture of her that I'll put up here looking cute in it. It was quite a while ago now. But that was one thing that I made. And then I had a little look through my wardrobe and also on my Instagram pages to see what things I'd made that are fruity themed before. And there's a couple of things. So i made quite recently actually a harmony top by style arc and i actually gifted the top away i think i may have given it to the charity shop i absolutely loved the fabric but i didn't like the flounce in the sleeves um, i'll put a picture up of it and it was like this valencia orange fabric i think it was called something like that um, it was really really nice viscose which i think you can probably still get around now but yeah i just didn't like the style top on me but that's kind of a real literal um version of a fruity make um a less literal version is a page hoodie that i made at the very start of my sewing journey and it's i've got a picture but i couldn't actually find where i'd put it but i know i got the t-shirt somewhere so i managed to get it get out so i made the t-shirt in this very cheap um cotton jersey with these cute little cherries on i had a little bit of glitter in it's very worn now actually um but i use this in the lining of a plain page hoodie sweatshirt um as a little pop of fruit and i also ironed on an iron on patch which was a cherry so you know if you don't want to be really literal with 
the fruity fabric you could just iron on a patch maybe um which i think is a good idea to do as well um i have a few patches here in my stash i've got some watermelons so these would be you know on a black t-shirt you could just iron on one of these patches and take part in the challenge and the great thing about these is you can actually take them off if you really don't like them but i think they just add a little pop of color or bling or and obviously you can take part in um the challenge i'll try and link to some of these um on some websites that have got some fruity patches in the notes below if you and there's probably still time to order one so you can take part in the challenge so yeah that was um one of the makes that i made was a little bit less literal and then another dress that i made very early on in my sewing journey it's actually one of the tilly and the buttons dresses out of the first sewing book that she did i'm just is it love at first stitch and it's this one and i made it in this gorgeous gorgeous um black poplin with all the fruit on it and i do actually have this fabric in a white um which i think would make a lovely t-shirt i think i've only got a couple of meters of it um now this doesn't fit me you can see it's very small <laughs> it's a tilly size three i think um i've got a picture of me wearing it um but it's a gorgeous fabric and i just can't bear to get rid of the dress for two reasons one it's a really lovely dress two it's my first um ever dress that i made and um yeah it's part it's part of my sewing journey really so yeah i don't really want to get rid of that yet you know always under the delusion that i will get back into it one day so that's that one and then the other one that i made is um i didn't even realize this had fruit on it but it actually has bananas on it um this is this jacket that i made it's the um heather blazer that i made in this beautiful cotton canvas from see you at six and you can see that it's got bananas on it. So yeah, I didn't even realize um, that had bananas on it. But yeah, I mean, I don't know if this actually fits me anymore. No, it's a bit snug, but um, I have some photographs of me wearing this. Really could do with losing a bit of weight to get back into this. I actually have some more of this fabric, which I always planned on making a little shorts to go with it, but I haven't as of yet. But yeah, I would really like to get back into this fabric at one point. Okay, so that, that's a little bit of, um, my fruity makes that I've made before so let's crack on with what I'm going to talk to you about today now I've got five plans I'm not going to get all of these made but I just thought if I was going to do this what kind of things have I got in my stash I have actually got quite a lot more fruity fabric in my stash than I thought I had but the first one that comes to mind was one that I purposely bought for this actual challenge and it's this fabric here now I got it from first for fabrics a couple of weeks ago and I actually saw that Tamlin had made this up into a top and it looked gorgeous but I purchased this fabric because I want to make a pair of palazzo pants and I had this pattern called the flan patterns sorry the tyra trousers from flan patterns and I think that would make a lovely pair of wide leg trousers. Um, I really like the blue um, with the pops of bright colours on it. And yeah, really, really stunning. So I got two and a half metres of that to make those trousers. So that is definitely a firm plan that I want to make um, for my holiday. And if I don't get it done for this challenge, I will definitely make that one up. So yeah, it's a lovely fabric. I think it's, um, it's quite a heavyweight viscose, I'd say, actually. But yeah, really nice. That's my first plan. So either those trousers or the saguaro pants, I have a pair of saguaro pants. That these actually look very similar to saguaro pants and I made them in a size three. So they're very snug on me. Um, so I'd have to size up a little bit, but I actually really like the fit of those. But these look very similar. So that's an option. The next one is, um, I probably won't get around to making this this year because I'm probably not going to make myself a swim costume, but I have some really cute fabric. So this fabric is a fruity fabric that I bought ages ago and it's just these cool, vibrant, fluorescent colours and I'm dying to make um, a bikini. Now there's a Hara bikini by Sew Over It I really fancy making. It's got high-waisted um, bottoms, brief bottoms, which, you know, when you've got a mum tum, it's always good to have high-waisted bottoms. And it's also got um, a really nice Thai bikini top, which... Um, I really like as well so yeah i put a picture of that up there but yeah this i think would look really nice as a little bikini um and it's got all these fruits all over it and plants and stuff so yeah really really nice so that's that one now obviously those two have got quite obvious 
fruity prints on them haven't they so i wanted to show you if you are a little bit more um reserved with the patterns and you like something a little plainer or a bit more classic then i was thinking making up a pair of just shorts in this lovely orange this um linen um and they would just be a fruity pair of shorts and you could also if you wanted to put like a little label with it so i've got this one you're the zest excuse my nails by the way my nail lady was in hospital she's fine but she had to cancel my appointment so i'm gradually all my nails are falling off because i've now got to wait another three weeks for my appointment so yeah i'm looking a bit bedraggled at the moment um but yeah so this says you're the zest which is a really cool little label and i think i got this from the lemon patch actually um it was in a so Haley jane box once and i've still got quite a few left so you know you could go for something a little bit more subtle where you get orange pair of shorts and then a lovely little um zesty label now i love the wide leg pants shorts and i also like the is it the esther shorts that i've made recently um with this with the invisible zip i think they would look nice in these as well so maybe that's a make for my holiday oh and actually if i had a little bit of fabric left over that would look nice as a little top i'm sure i won't though okay so then moving on to um another more obvious fabric let me just get it now this is a gorgeous fabric that i forgot i had it's a linen viscose that i got from uh, Guthrie Garni and I think Swaguaro set would look absolutely stunning in this um lemons obviously gorgeous now I bought this fabric after I saw I cannot remember the lady's name but someone on Instagram had this fabric and she'd made a Zadie jumpsuit and I just thought oh I want to copy that um as I always do I always think Zadie jumpsuit when I see a lovely fabric but yeah having looked at the Saguaro set I think I would like to make the Saguaro set in this for my holiday as an evening um outfit um so yeah that's got its name on it for, for that and actually how cool would that label be with that as well <laughs> okay and then finally my fifth option is one that is actually i'm going to sew this next because i want to make this dress and i was going to make this dress anyway in this fabric but then it dawned on me that it actually is really um kind of like a a fruity um fabric and that is this cotton fabric that I shared on my Friday sale. It's a bit creased, sorry, because I've just um, had uh, it washed. I haven't ironed it. Now, it's got this jacquard in it. And I was thinking, strawberries. It looks like that is such a texture of, this, like, you know, the strawberry texture. I just think it really reminded me of strawberries. So I am going to make the Mercy dress by Pattern Fantastique. And, yeah, I just think the shape of the dress as well, it just reminds me of a strawberry. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, and if, I think it has bound arms as well and a bound neckline. So I was thinking I could use this beautiful bias tape that's got strawberries on it for um, with that theme. And that would be a really subtle, oh God, I never thought I'd use that word with me, a subtle um, kind of nod to the fruity challenge and actually if you really wanted to take it fancy dress levels you could wear a little green headband <laughs> for the like tuffed out the strawberry the stalk that's taken a little bit too far but yeah i hope you like that but yeah i just thought that texture you know and you don't have to use the pattern of something to give you that fruity theme you can go for the texture you can go for the um obviously the color and that reminds me of the strawberry so yeah that is my other plan so yeah five plans there um, i've always through them quite quickly um but yeah i usually would do a reveal of making the make as well but i just haven't had a chance for that so i think the first one that i'm going to do get done is this i've got my mercy dress ready all the pdf stuck together i just got to iron this fabric and put it out and then it'd be nice to get the other ones done but um i probably won't okay so are you taking part in the so free to challenge if so, let me know what you're making. Are you being really literal with it or are you being a little bit more abstract with it? Um, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing all your makes on the 30th. And don't forget to head over to all the other channels and watch the vlogging tour. Now, I'm pretty sure there'll be under a vet's 
um, Instagram and YouTube, there will be a playlist of the So Fruity um, vlogs that have happened so far. So head over and have a look. I'm still a bit behind with mine, but I'm enjoying watching all the fruity fabric come out and everybody's plans and ideas. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, please click the like button. And if you don't subscribe already, you know what to do. Click the describe describe <laughs> don't click a describe button click the subscribe button and i'll see you all soon happy sewing bye